Connecting a transfer hose to a cryogen source involves the safe use of equipment to ensure you protect your hands and avoid damaging the threads or outlets. Begin by placing the smaller cylinder next to your liquid nitrogen source. Use a transfer line or hose appropriate to the size of the larger tank. The hose should be at least 6 feet long and should reach down to the bottom of your smaller cylinder. Otherwise, you should use a stand or object to place your smaller dewer higher to reach the hose. If you try to carry the dewer while filling, you risk dropping, spilling, or other injuries. Locate the outlet valve on the source labeled liquid. This is a CGA fitting with rounded threads. To attach the transfer hose, hand tighten first by twisting the nut onto the valve. A good rule of thumb is lefty, loosey, and righty, tighty. When attaching, tighten by gently turning the valve nut to the right. Go slowly and make sure the threads are aligned. If you are having a hard time attaching, stop, loosen it up, and adjust the nut onto the valve. The problem with forcing the valve nut on incorrectly is that it will cross thread. This results in damage to the thread, which could cause permanent leaks. Once you can't tighten anymore, you'll need to use a wrench. At this time, make sure you're using cryogenic gloves to protect your hands, because the metal wrench and the area around the valve will freeze and burn your fingers once the liquid is released. Grab a wrench and begin to tighten. Turn the wrench gently until the transfer hose is attached securely. Now you're ready to start filling your doer.